Hey, what's going on? This is Sony Knows Best. Here about to show you a very quick look at the Log Me In application for the iPad. Now, Log Me In Initial is the name of the application. It allows you to log back into your computer. So, say you got a computer at home, but you're at work, you're out of town, you're on vacation, something like that, where you can't get back home to use your computer. You can open up this application and over 3G or over Wi Fi, connect to your computer and look at your desktop, control your desktop, look at pictures, movies, whatever you want to look at, all your content right in front of you on your iPad. So, let me go ahead and jump right into it here and log into this application here. Go ahead and launch it here. And let me go ahead and hide my credentials here. And so basically, you download the free application on whatever computers that you want to log into. So I got my iMac and my MacBook Pro here with me. But my uh, MacBook Pro is offline right now. So I'm going to be logging into my iMac. Simply tap on it. And um, again, you just download the free application onto your computer that you want to log into. And boom, you're set to go. And so this application runs very smoothly now normally at this screen it'll be having you log in with your user uh, administrator password on your computer itself but after you do that you can have it remember it so it is all logged in ready to go and so you see here i'm using my mouse here to control my, my finger here my mouse you don't need no mouse but you use my finger here to actually control the mouse cursor here so you see it's very smooth very fluid it's not jagging not riggedy at all and so say i'm gonna go ahead and take a quick look at this uh picture right here all right so i got quick look already open right here so I hit the space bar so I wanted to normally a quick look or a quick preview on the Mac OS scene. You hit the space bar to control it. So basically, I'm hit the space bar just like that. So an on-screen keyboard works very fast. Now, as you can probably notice here, there's some, some jack. I mean, there's some, a little bit of delay here, but that's normal because you're working over Wi-Fi and 3G with this. So that's very understandable. But as far as controlling everything like that, it, I really love it. It's very smooth. And I have used others, and this does work very well. So I'm going to open up Safari here. All right, and you still have pinch to zoom. So you can pinch to zoom like you want to. I'm going all over the place here. <laughs> all right, so you can still pinch to zoom if you want to. Uh, you can actually still uh, scroll in with it with the two fingers on the application itself like that. And uh, so I want to pinch to zoom here. I want to get a quick look at something. And I'm going very slowly here because I'm trying to look at my... Uh, my iPad through my camera here, which kind of sucks. But anyway, you see double tap to click. Everything looks very bright and vibrant on here. Now, I'm going to go into the settings here real quick and show you. Uh, they have different settings. You can change the color quality, the resolution, the monitors. Um, uh, you can lock the keyboard. You can do a lot of different things to actually control the overall experience with this application. Now, one, one other thing I'm going to show you real quick is that I have the Apple LED Cinema display hooked up to my iMac. And it, now, if I say I want to switch to that display because I may have some folders on there that I want to look at, I simply just need to shake my iPad. And boom, there it is. And I can actually look at that uh, LED symbol display if I want to to access whatever content I want to access on here. So that's very cool. But I'm going to get back to my iMac, shake again, and you're right back where you started. So this application, I, like I said before, I've used others in the past, but this one takes the cake as far as usability and features and as far as just the overall stability of it. And I have used back to my Mac on my Mac. Um, that's basically Apple's solution to this. But on my MacBook Pro, using the dual monitor setup trying to connect to my iMac is horrible because it's very small. You can barely see what you're doing. This works flawless on the iPhone, iPod Touch, but plus on the iPad itself. So this is my little review slash demo of Log Me In Edition. It does cost $29.99. Uh, that's not a bad price for what it does. You can get this in the application store. But you just need to download it once. But you can download this thing um, on your iPhone, iPod Touch, and your iPad all at once if you had to. Because this is a universal application that has all different versions in that one single one. All right, so you know best here. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any more questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. But thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Peace.